So it is Wednesday where we drink wine and I talk about stuff with you. But I have coffee instead. Actually, I do have wine. And I am going to open it. And I need to open it. Grintatre. Grintatre? I want to feel like that's a play off of 33. Because 30 is 30. In Espanol, Grintatre. Rosso. Red. Is this an Argentine? No, it's Italy. It's Italian. And it's a blend. You want to get a, you want to get in on this? 33.3% Cab, 33.3 Merlot, 33.4 Montepulciano. Mont Montepulciano. This unique wine comes from the Alpuria region. Located in the depth of southern Italy, the blend is an equal amount of the three different varietals. Purple red with a pleasant fruity nose with hints of plum, cherry, and chocolate. Full bodied, it has the supple finish with soft tannins. Nice. Enjoy it with pasta, pizza, grilled meat, seasoned cheese, or even on its own, obviously. You can always have wine on its own. So we're gonna bust into this tonight. And yes, that was an easy one. Typically on these nights, Adam is at practice, but Adam is actually saving the day because I got a flat tire today. Here, you can see my flat tire. How sad. And which kind of leads me to what I want to talk to you tonight. Ooh. I hope this isn't another corked wine from Trader Joe's. Also, I burned my mouth earlier because I drank coffee. I'm the girl that goes and gets an Americano at 5.15 at night. Let's take a gander here. Um, so I don't even know if it is corked, if I'll even be able to, well, I'm sure I'll be able to taste it. I just, I burn my tongue. So I feel like I can't taste anything right now. not my favorite the other one I bought the other day is so much better <laughs> on today's wine talk Wednesday um, we're gonna keep it light but we're also gonna talk through a little bit of stuff so we didn't have for those of you who are followers and are subscribed to our YouTube channel if you're not I'm gonna make a shameless plug and ask that you go to YouTube and you hit subscribe and there's a little bell down there you hit the bell and it will notify you when we post videos because eventually like yes we post them on Facebook for people that know us but if you don't know us personally and you just stumbled across this video you can easily get notifications on when we post new videos so usually we post on Sundays and Wednesdays just kind of depending but we did not post this last Sunday because quite frankly we've got a lot of life going on and I'm not a person that likes to just put out content for the sake of putting out content. I want to put out something that I like and that I'm proud of and that tells a story or whatever. And I'm not one of those people that like when we started this vlog almost a year ago that is just like, yeah, let's just go do stuff so we can vlog about it. We're not that couple either. Like I'm not going to go try to create something that's inauthentic. Like I want to really capture Adam and I and our life and our marriage. And sometimes it's just not exciting. Like you guys, we don't, I mean, we do have an exciting life, but we're really, gr we grind a lot, you know, between Adam being a traditional business owner, I work in corporate America, um, you know, we do some really awesome things with 3 Elite Team that we're gonna get to start really talking about more and more. And you'll start to see 3 Elite start to just kind of like make its way, like wave into this, into our into our vlog a bit more um, but I mean we don't have kids you know we we do travel but 
you know, every day for us, like we thrive in routine. That's just where we live right now because we are in what my friend Charity likes to call the Charity, what did you call it? Um, the achievement. We're in the achiever phase of our life or the achiever season of our lives where we are just after our goals, no matter what they are, and we're just kind of making it happen. <laughs> so she, my friend Charity is so wise and uh, she refers to life in different stages. And so there's then what follows the achievement phase is the, the settle phase. You begin to settle into your life a little bit more. And so what I still think we'll always have a bit of an achievement season within us, within our, our little seeds, our hearts. Um, one day we'll be able to chill for a minute, maybe, hopefully. Anyway, so today was an interesting day. Uh, we got more snow here in Omaha. And if I couldn't give you the weather more, is this shaking? I feel like this is shaking a little bit. Um, so I apologize for that. Uh, so <laughs> I got to my workout after work. I work out at a place called Orange Theory and you have to schedule classes out ahead of time on an app. And I go to change and I realize I pull out my shoes, I pull out my makeup bag that has like my hair tie, my deodorant in it. And I realize I don't have pants and I don't have a top. Plan B, because I'm the queen of adjusting. It happens, whatever. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll just go home and instead I'll go to Anytime because we have a membership at Anytime. It's like right across the street from where we live and I'll just go work out there. Cool. So I get home and I kind of dilly dally. I talk to Adam for a few minutes. I go walk out and I look down and my tire is flat. I have a flat tire. It is flat as F. And Adam makes a joke that apparently his mom said, which if I have it, I'll insert it. At least the top half of your tire still has air in it. He's so funny. Why is he so funny? Anyway, so now he saved the day. That guy is Superman. He, um, because the last time I had a flat tire, we were on our way back from Lincoln and there was a nail in my tire, which we live in a new development and there's nails everywhere because it's construct. It's like a construction zone. And so maybe I ran something over, maybe I hit a pothole. I don't remember hitting a pothole, but it's also snowing outside. So who knows? Anyway, so he decided because I don't have a jack that works on my car, the jack that came with my car bent the last time we had a flat tire. So he just went to go get a sufficient jack and is gonna put the donut on my car. And now I'm hanging out, waiting for him to get home. So with that being said, why? <laughs> all, all, I say all that to say all this. It's important in life to adjust. It's also important in life to laugh and to not get so tied up in your plans, like, right? So like I had plans tonight to do things and they're all, they're all noble things. Like I plan to go work out because that's what I want to do because I have a goal of getting to X weight or to X physique and you know, my health is important to me. So I wanted to work out so that I'm here drinking wine. But um, instead, you know, thankfully I'm looking at the bright side or the glass half full Yes. Sorry, I just got a text from a friend. Um, but I decided to look at the glass half full and said, well, at least I got a flat tire and noticed it when I was home and I wasn't out in the nine degree weather when it's snowing outside, stuck on the side of the road. Um, you know, I'm thankful that I'm in my warm house. So that's good. I'm thankful that my husband was able to go and is kind enough to just say, honey, I've got it and I'll take care of it and he's just gonna take care of it for me because he's very sweet. Um, I'm thankful that there's a Jensen tire down the road that I can go to in the morning and I know they're gonna take care of me and get my tire replaced. I'm thankful that we have funds in the bank sufficient to ensure that I can replace my tire on my car. And so, you know what? I'm choosing to look at this as a glass half full night and whether or not I get in a workout, because here's the thing, I thankful that I have a basement that I could work out in if I wanted to. Um, I might take tonight as my free night and, you know, have a good rest of the week. I'm not going to worry about it because it's fine. And so don't get so hung up in your own plans 
and your own, the plans for your life or the plans for your day or the plans for your week or your month or an event or whatever that you can't see <laughs> if something, if a block comes up, if a roadblock comes up, if a flat tire happens, you know, that you can't adjust. Like life is about adjusting and it's about adjusting, you know, man, we've learned this as business owners. Um, we've learned this in our marriage that just because something worked yesterday does not mean it's going to work today. It's you've got to be willing to just go with the flow and adjust to things. They say that the most successful people learn and adjust, learn and adjust, learn and adjust. And if you're not willing to change or you're not willing to see things differently, just how much that can hold you back. Like if I had been so upset that, oh, my tire's flat and I can't work out and oh, this night is ruined and I just am not even whatever, I could have chosen not to film this video. I could have chosen not to do work for 3LE tonight. I could have chosen not to get my ish together for tomorrow and make sure that I'm remembering my workout attire for the next day so I can have a successful workout. Like all those things, I could have not, you know, it's like, about how you approach stuff. So this was an interesting lesson tonight and I'm not here to lecture you. I'm just here to give you some life story stuff per se and drink wine with two hands. Anyway, when life throws you a flat tire, just adjust. Don't freak out. It's going to be okay. And if you don't have a sweet husband that can change your tire and be like Superman, because mine, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful for him. Um, then it's okay because you're capable and you can use your resources because you're a resourceful young gal or guy, whatever. Um, and you can get after it. So anyway, this wine is not my favorite. I just have to be honest. I really need to stop buying wine from Trader Joe's. As much as I like it, I've purchased so many bottles of wine there that are just not good or cork. I need to just stop.